audio is more important than video. That is just a fact. But editing audio can be very time consuming. And if you're not really an audio person, it can also be a little bit confusing. So that is why I thought I would share with you my top five tips to edit audio fast. And my first tip is to sync audio. Recording your audio with an external recorder sounds ugh, like so much work, but it's not actually because Premiere Pro is super smart. All you have to do is import your clip and your audio track to your project put them both on the timeline and let's enlarge the tracks a little bit so you can see the audio waves. As you can see, the audio forms look very similar, but they're not synchronized yet. In order to do that, select both the clip and the audio track, right click and click on synchronize. Now click on audio and make sure that the track channel that the original track is on is selected. So in this case, it's track channel one and hit okay. After you've given Premiere Pro a few seconds to synchronize everything, it just, it's, it's like magic. My next tip is to edit by Soundwave. This will save you so much time. When you start editing like this, you will start recognizing certain patterns and you will see that you set the same thing five times, but then you will recognize which time will work best. And if you're even smarter, you will clap or make a high pitch sound or something very loud. So you can recognize that in the sound wave as well. And you want it to go through 30 minutes of footage because you recognize those patterns and you recognize those claps. So it's very easy to cut your footage and edit your video super fast. I hope you're ready to have your mind blown because this tip, if the other two tips didn't do it for you, this one is going to blow your mind. When I first tried this, I was like, wait, what? If your video is longer than the duration of a song, usually what you do is you cut up the song, and then you copy and paste it a few times, you stitch it back up, you add constant gain or constant power to make it all sound nice. But, but what I want you to do is to click on that song, go to edit, go to edit in audition. And when audition is launched, go to new multi-track and then add the audio to the track. Now we're going to go right here to the left. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. Go to properties, remix, enable remix, and then change the target duration. What? <laughs> when I found this out, I, my mind was blown. I mean, you can literally, you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. And as you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see where Audition looped the track. And then go to File, Export, and Export to Adobe Premiere. I, just, I, I don't have words for this. I'm still mind blown. Every time that I do this, I'm like, so it cannot get much better than this, but I hope you're ready for another one because one thing that you will have to forget about is manually adjusting the audio of every audio clip that you have on your timeline. All you have to do is first organize everything. So for example, have a dialogue track, have a music track and sound effect tracks, go to the audio workspace, then select all of the dialogue clips, click on dialogue, loudness, and then auto match. Boom. <laughs> I have never loved audio more. I mean, these tips, I don't know about you. I'm loving them. I'm loving all of them. Even talking about them now, it just makes me so excited. It could be that the music is still a little bit too loud. So then just go to effects control and change the volume there. But using the auto match function will give you the production standards. And then there's another tip that will save you so much time when you're editing something to the beat of the music. And that is by adding markers. All you have to do is play the song and then press M on the beat. Or what you can also do is enlarge the track and then place a marker for every beat. I know there's probably not much left of your mind right now, but still, if you want to make better videos, make sure to watch this video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in case you want to be notified. And so, we can see each other in the next video, if you click on this one.